Brian. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Wake up. It's time to wake up. I hear a hum. Hmm, that might yeah. be Bobby. Get up. No, it's wake probably up. Bob Baby messing with his microphone over there. Could be. Hey, good morning. I'm Jamie Cooper. Thank y'all for getting <laughs> up with us. No, one, two, one, two, one, two. Kind of test everything this morning. That. Anyway, I'm Jamie Cooper. Thank y'all for getting up with us. This is Thursday morning. Speedy, what's going on? What's going on, brother? What Jamie? are you cooking today? We're going to do some homemade Alfredo sauce with some shrimp and lump crab meat. Huh? Lump what? Crab meat. Lump crab meat. Yes, lump crab meat. Lump crab meat. You getting ready for football season? I'm ready. I'm right. ready to go. We've got media days yeah. going on. Yeah. I'm ready to go. Good articles to start reading about Alabama football, Auburn football, we are. LSU yeah. on probation. Uh -huh. Shut up back in town. Yeah, Bobby. I did, uh, Jamie. I did read about LSU football. Uh, the uh, last week was in a comic book, so I'm yeah. not quite sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bobby, I know we missed him last week. Didn't we? Yeah, uh, hey. yeah, right. We missed him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, Frank's on the phone at two three zero four nine eight eight, or you can text six zero three forty eight forty eight. Got a lot of stuff going on. Speedy is going to be preparing a wonderful meal for us throughout yes. the next hour here. And like I said, if you got uh, something so going on, you can always call Frank, or you can text Gloria at six zero three forty eight forty eight. Got us some interesting articles to talk about this morning. We'll talk about the SEC and how Alabama looks like yet again a dominant number one in the nation. Ah, the ratings ah, will be out before long. Sorry. You losers. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> of course, you can't say LSU too bad much about them because we got Stephen Rivers playing football down there and uh, Connor Neighbors from over in Huntsville playing it also at LSU. So. I bet they're all turning over right there on that one. But anyway, <laughs> hey, we've got a lot of stuff going on on this Thursday morning edition of Cooper Cup Live. Thank y'all for getting up. It's going to be yet another hot on any baby. Yes, it definitely, it definitely is. And you know what? We have plenty of coffee this morning. And I think we're going to see plenty, the handheld's in there, plenty of um, ice cream Tuesday. So if you want to join us Tuesday morning for some homemade ice cream, all you have to do is bring that up here. Or not this Tuesday, following Tuesday. Jamie's like, no, no, no. Let's talk about the weather. You know what? 75 degrees. It's going to rain today. You should see some pop-up showers. 40% chance today, 50% chance tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. Your extended forecast looking pretty good. Not too bad. 230-4988 gets us this morning. Put little cooler temperatures as well. There you go. That'll take care of that. Hmm. You got it? You ready to tell him to shut up? I am ready to rock and roll, baby. <laughs> rock and roll. Let's get after it. Shut up. But first, Bob Labby. I have a complaint with you. Okay. Oh boy. And I'm going to get it on right now. All right. Read your wonderful article in the paper Sunday. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. About Johnny Crawford. Mm hmm Yeah. And let me quote from you in your article here. Okay. It says here that AMC TV Network airs multiple episodes of Rothman on Saturday mornings. Mm-hmm. That's what they told me. Not to mention Cooper and Company, uh, yeah. not Cooper, but ZTV airs Rifleman back-to-back -back episodes every day, Monday through Friday. Hold it from 10 to 11, and on Sunday mornings from 10 to 11. I'm glad you mentioned you that. You to mention ZTV 11, <laughs> home of retro television, in your article. There it is, right there. Come on in. There it is, right there. You failed to mention. The most important part of this, that you were on the show every Thursday With Gloria. for the last 10 years. <laughs> yeah. You failed to mention for Gloria. For some reason, <laughs> some reason, <laughs> you, you can't mention ZTV 11, your local and loved it TV station in Athens, Alabama. The only I mentioned local. Now, what's up with that? I mentioned it. Editor cut it out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a good one. one. That's, that's a good one. I like you. that. Actually, they cut out, I bet you, two or three paragraphs of what I sent in. But but they do that all the time. But you it, but you're going to use that as an excuse. No, yeah. Well, I'll again. call the editor. <laughs> Bobby, I'll call the editor over there. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> there was no mention. Do you not know our programming schedule here? Dig no. Way out. <laughs> dig, dig, baby, Bobby, dig. Millions of people watching right now are oh, yeah. curious to why you omitted the number one place to watch The Rifleman. Because not everybody can get ZTV. So what? I asked him where it's being. He said, this is where it's being aired for everybody to see. That's okay. So that's what I used. Bobby. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Hey. By the, way, I know. Went, huh? by the way, I went and saw Johnny Crawford last night in concert. Got a chance to meet him after the concert. He did a great job. He's a very talented individual. He even got up at the end and did rope tricks because, you know, he used to be in a rodeo yeah. when he was a kid for a couple of years, and he did rodeo. They have a good crowd for that? Yeah, it was pretty good at the Flying Monkey Arts Center. It was, it was a lot of fun. 
Well, good. I went you to a good. few rodeos. Well, I wish you'd taken a picture of yourself with him. You could have gotten it over here. Well, you know what's funny is I, I meant to, and I forgot my camera. <laughs> well, <laughs> it was just sitting on the counter. All right. Went home. All of right. course, this morning, a uh, beautiful landing of the space shuttle, the last one ever. Uh, uh, they landed just before uh, five o'clock. It was wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. You know what? Our government's such idiots. We got a Get, space shuttle that works. Now we're going to rush it to launch our space. I agree with. I agree a hundred percent. We ain't up here to talk about space today. We're well, up here to talk about whatever I want to talk about, you know, okay? Hey, hey, first, going no, wait a minute. No, I'm going to get on soapbox very, very there quickly. Here we go. Here, here we go. About half of what you have in this studio and what you use on television is compliments of NASA. Thank you very much. Yeah. And people All right, like no, me. I've said my son. And people like me. And? People like him. Who developed this stuff. Let's yes, go, go ahead, Jay. This weekend... Handy Festival starts over in Florence. You ever Does been it? to that? Mm -hmm. Blues Brothers are going to be playing over there. Uh, Microwave Dave will be playing. We'll try to get over it next week. The Decoy, Donnie Fritz, Spooner Oldham, play at July 30th at 7 p.m. They're the main event in the drive-by truckers. All that going on in Florida. If you've never been to that, try to get over to the shows there. Starting, I think it starts Friday or this weekend, and they what, great, lunch great all over town with somebody playing over there. I uh, got a lot of stuff to talk about here later this morning. A couple of letters to the editor, Donnie. We can get on this later about this immigration thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It says here, Mexico is sending its countrymen into this country illegal. This is a letter to editors born in Hustle Times because their economy cannot support them. Please consider these points. Would you take more people into your home than you can financially support? Neither can our federal government. Hallelujah. Would you take lawmakers into your home? Criminals and felons are among the immigrants here, are illegal. Would you support any terrorists coming into this country along with those immigrants? With open borders, it will happen. And it goes on and on. It says, in all their demonstrations, they wave the Mexican flag, not the American flag. It is ironic that our so-called Christians are advocating breaking the law of the land, want to open our borders. Don't these Christians realize who's Ill when illegals overload our economy, it's going to affect their families and in the future? Hallelujah. Webster's Dictionary states illegal to mean forbidden by law or statute. People should read Public Law 99 through 1603. It doesn't surprise me that churches and clergy are aiding and abetting illegals to break mass law because, as we know, some of these churches and clergymen allow homosexuality and same-sex marriages, and we all know that breaks God's law. What happened to separation of church and state? Anyway, that's just well. Letter to that in Hustle Times this morning. There'll be a bunch of them. I agree with well, we can talk yep. about that forever and ever. Mm -hmm. So now, let's get down to my number one subject today, which is going to be mainly oh, well, about thank LSU. Thank you. LSU. LSU. It's going to be mainly Donna. about me. We oh, are. Okay. I've got a Dear Abby here. I'm going to oh. do it in two parts. I'll do the first one first, and then the second one is my most important one. Is it Dear Abby or That's Dear Jamie? Scary. Well, it's a Dear Abby, but I'm going to make it a Dear Jamie. Okay. okay. Is it weird not to want to sleep in the same bed with my husband? <laughs> Jamie? What, Jamie? You got uh, we have an amazing out of the caring for it, but when it comes to sleep, I need my space. He prefers to cuddle all night. I always end up trying to push him over. I know he gets offended because he's just trying to be close. Okay, my when I'm like in that. bed with him, I can't get no sleep. He's always on my side. I can't move. He snores too much. It bothers me that I get up and sleep on the couch. Is this a bad sign for our marriage? What should I do? All right. Hey, Dear that, Jamie, what do you do? Is that my wife writing that letter? <laughs> Your wife doesn't sleep with you? Yeah, she sleeps with oh, me. Come on. I mean, come on. I am. She does it once. Who am I? Who oh, am I? Loser. Come on. Oh, my God. Who wouldn't want to you sleep beside you, me? I don't think you want us to answer that. <laughs> you are a loser. <laughs> That's why we call you that, shut up. That marriage is not in trouble. So, it one. is. But you and your husband should have a calm discussion about uh, both while you're both wide awake and rested. You need sleep. You ever have a problem? <laughs> huh? She ain't going to answer that on TV. <laughs> just, so roll over and she just says, over. move over or whatever. <laughs> That's a problem. What? Her getting up and sleeping on the house or having to. Or feel like she's she wanting some to. sleep. Well, I mean, I don't blame her, but that is that can lead into worse things. Worser. Worser things. Worser things. Yeah. For yeah, the marriage, said. absolutely. Right. Enough about that. That gives you, you thousands watching this morning something to contemplate. <laughs> now, let me move on I to the next million. story. Well, the there's more. <laughs> Dear Abby, too, this morning, which could apply to me. Okay. I am a 54-year-old woman, not me, this person, <laughs> who after a long marriage and unavoidable divorce is ready to date. I work out daily. I'm active in my church, take classes, and socialize with women and married couples. I'm in excellent shape and I'm told I'm attractive and fun to be with. There are a few available men my age, and almost all of them seem to be looking 
for women in their 40s, 30s, or even their 20s. Oh, no. Why are What's so many men my, my age so unwilling to date women their age? We're past the drama years and are secure in who we are and have a lot to offer. <laughs> Am I destined to spend my life without romance? I'm an upbeat person but have lot lately started feeling angry. What do I do, Jamie? Lower the bar. Go out with Superman. <laughs> What's wrong with somebody Frank's age? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> There's Here's nothing wrong with someone Frank's age as long as you can wake them up. That's right. <laughs> Just or get them to move as long as, as long as you don't want to cuddle. Uh, here's, here's our answer. Uh, here's her answer. Okay. I can't speak for all older men, but many of them in our youth-obsessed culture look for women considerably younger because it helps them fool themselves into thinking they're younger in their years. <laughs> <laughs> that's Jamie. Yep, that's Jamie in a nutshell. What a crap of lies. I would never, <laughs> never consider something like that to make myself look younger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you better say closer. Huh? I would never the consider get, that. The closer you get, the younger you get. <laughs> I would never, ever consider that marrying a younger woman. Hmm. Now, you were in your 20s when I did marry you. She's still in her 20s. <laughs> uh, yeah, <no>. <laughs> but, you see, yes, guys, let me tell you, if you can be as fortunate <laughs> as I am, advice. go for the younger women. <laughs> how's sports fit work? That poor woman. Huh? How, how's that Who cry? wants to how's marry that, somebody my how's age? How's that kickboxing going? <laughs> huh? How's that kickboxing yeah. going? Well, I can barely move. <laughs> I, I, mean, I think it depends, it depends on the individual. It depends on the individual. <laughs> it's like Mark McCarter said the other day, and I told this story the other day. They had their 40th high school reunion, mm -hmm. which is 40th. my age. And they go to class. I told this the other day. And they're, they're looking at all the women their age. You know, women age a lot. Now, look at me. Do I look like I'm 50? How old am I? 57? Yeah. 57 years old. <laughs> I'm about to be 58. And they're talking about the women coming in. And they look, man, did you see her? Well, this lady comes up to them and says, hey, talking to the buddy that's with Mark, I think you were in my class. And the guy says, what did you teach? <laughs> that's bad. That is bad. <laughs> Now, I know everybody can't just come out there and be a spring chicken like me. But, honey, yeah, okay. you got to keep on clucking if you're going to get there. Hey, you want right, to start our own show? Did he say chicken? What? He said chicken. <laughs> oh, spring chicken. You've been chicken. whining since you woke up this A morning. slung chicken. That's because I'm hurting all over. Because you're old. That's because hey, you're ease up a little bit. Because <laughs> you're old. Well, yeah, ease up a little bit. I think, I think it, each individual person is just whatever suits your fancy. You know, I think you as old I'd, as you act. Single man, I, I, I've run the full gamut. Dear Abby, told her to date younger, men, younger men. Don't said it worked for Demi Moore. I don't think, I don't think <laughs> you should right. look Demi for that. It. I don't think you should date whoever you want. Hey, what's the matter? With Demi? No matter what age, uh, you know, be at the twenties, all the way up to the sixties. Yeah, I say you have run. Since you got divorced, Bobby, <laughs> you've yeah. gone from. <laughs> I, I, you go to high school to the nursing I, home. I, 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 <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, in, uh, in the same day, from one to the three. No, I mean, I dated several different too. age women, I, and, and I'm, you know, it was fine. I mean, it's, each individual person is different. You know, there were some people my age who acted more, a lot younger. And there were some younger that acted older. And I think you got to just find the right one. And I'm dating a woman now that's younger than me, and it's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. How, and, much, and how much no, younger? What's that? How much younger? <laughs> she's about to graduate from high school. No. So. Yeah, <laughs> she's, she, she's about 12 years younger than me. Okay. And, and, and so you're 70. You <laughs> <laughs> lied to me. Yeah, I mean, you look good for your age. I mean, I'm not going to take anything away from you or nothing. But so my 70. point is each individual person should make their choice. Wait, I don't think you should shoot for an age like, oh, I'm only going to go out with 45-year-old men. No. What? Don't even bring me in this conversation. Oh, yeah. Isn't your wife older than you? My wife is older than me. I rock. <laughs> okay. I, I made sure I got an older woman because I wanted a mature woman. Well, keep her away from me at church, son. Yeah. <laughs> she's still <laughs> shut so, uh, She's well, only 30-something. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's there again. Each of them per person is different. You know, uh, I know someone. Dr. Phil Bob. No, man. I know Dr. someone who will only date certain age guys. They have to be so tall, and it just narrows their field that they have a chance to date. That's why I they're just, single. I, that's exactly right. <laughs> it's so it's miserable. Ex exactly right, and I think they need to. Now, baby, if something were to happen to me, 
I'm going younger. <laughs> she's, she's, hey, we're both we're both younger than Jamie. Yeah, hey, hey, yeah, that's right. You mean younger than me or younger than you? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey no, no, no. Hey, no, no. We gotta have a physical fitness contest first. We gotta do. We gotta do a yeah, how, how can you do it, kickboxing? Yeah. Shut up, both of you. Oh, All right, my. let me get back on track here. <laughs> yeah, please do. This is gone. We veered way off. It's, I mean, I, I, I got an Eagle Scout in here. Y'all got to straighten up. <laughs> Frank, Almost would you right. date a younger woman? He's probably, dating, he's probably dating an older woman. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Would Frank date a younger Very woman? Well, they, he has no choice but to date a younger woman. <laughs> I will say this. <laughs> All women his age are gone. <laughs> I have never dated anybody. I've married most of them. Uh, <laughs> An older woman. Really? That's right. Are you serious? Yeah. Well, you missed out. I've never dated a younger woman. <laughs> you missed out. I like them. You like them what? Right out of uh, uh, high school. High school. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me right out of high school. Take a break. Come back and see you in this moment. Y'all, hang on. Where's Chef Blakely at? Oh, Mom, I'm sorry.